Today, an official opening ceremony of the second One Belt, One Road International Forum took place in the China's capital. President Shafkat Marziyev and more than 40 heads of states as well as international and regional organizations are taking part in the forum. One Belt, One Road is an extremely ambitious and far-reaching initiative that is not easy to achieve but has significant potential impacts, improving the social and economic structure of a major part of the world. Opening the forum, President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, expressed gratitude to the heads of all the participating delegations and to numerous representatives of expert and analytical circles. He noted that the Belt and Road project implemented jointly with the international and regional institutions such as the UN, SCO, the European Union, the Eurasian Economic Union, corresponds to the development strategies of various countries and therefore opens up a broad opportunities for economic progress of the world in general. There was a talk also on the projects to be implemented to boost international trade and investment relations, to stimulate the creation of new transport and logistics corridors. It was noted that the number of nations participating in the project has been growing. This indicates a multi-inspiration for sustainable development in the world. It's worth reminding that the first international forum One Belt, One Road was held in 2017. The initiative voiced by China is designed to buttress mechanisms of interstate cooperation through the advancement of land and sea routes. The scheme currently covers 65 countries across Asia, Europe and Africa. In the future, given potential accession of other countries, it will turn into a global economic platform. The current forum participants will focus on the enhancement of economic cooperation, enlargement of interaction in finding new sources for long-term growth, promotion of green economy and innovation, and the realization of priority infrastructure projects. The forum will last two days. Uzbekistan's president is set to deliver a speech. After the opening ceremony, the president, Shavkat Mirziyev, held talks over the chairman of the standing committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China. They discussed topical issues of further strengthening the Uzbek-Chinese comprehensive strategic partnership as well as the regional and international agenda. As part of the One Belt, One Road Forum, the President of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyev, met with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. Negotiations were touched upon widening bilateral cooperation. The head of state particularly highlighted Uzbekistan's active participation in UN's projects and emphasized the significance of developing ties built on notions of unity and connectivity. Antonio Guterres in turn noted that UN respects Uzbekistan's position in discussing and resolving global issues, taking into account all countries' interests. During the talks, the sides discussed the issues of regional and international significance. On the same day, the head of our state participated in the opening of the new building of the Embassy of Uzbekistan in Beijing. All conditions for holding official events and receiving citizens were created. The building has a kind of architectural solution, and each subject and decoration one can feel the warmth of Uzbekistan. The working visit of the head of our state to the People's Republic of China continues. We will inform about other details of the visit in our next releases.